hello friends today in this tutorial we will be building a photo search application in react using unsplash api so this is the interface of the application if you type here something let's suppose i type programming and click search so you will see that it will grab the photos about programming using the unsplash api so you can just right click and download the image onto your local machine you can just repeat for every topic let's suppose i type flower and click search it will grab the flower images so for this i am using the unsplash api you can see that this is the endpoint that i am hitting here api.unsplash.com slash search slash photos and i am providing a query parameter and a client id so for that you just need to go to unsplash.com register your application make it count and you will get your access key just copy this access key and use in in your application for this i am using react here so first of all you just need to go to google and here you just need to type code sandbox so code sandbox is kind of a online ide for react applications you need not have to make a local environment in our lo local machine you can just uh, make react application online so just create sandbox you have to create an account on this website using github login with github i have already done that so this will generate a boilerplate application for the react application so here you just need to one dependency which is axios so right here click on add dependency and here you just type your dependency which is axios and this is a promise based http client library for the browser and node.js so it will be installing this library on the background you can see that now the library is installed now let me just create some space so that you can see first of all we will be importing this library so i will write here import axios from axios after importing the library, we will be using functional components with hooks in React in order to make this application. First of all, I will be changing this uh, HTML and I will be having a heading so which will be unsplash photo search in React. After that, I will be having a simple input field. Input type is equal to text and I will be giving a name attribute to it of photo and a placeholder of uh, search for photos dot 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 close the input field here and we will be having a button after that button type submit and uh, after that uh, the label will be search that's it now if i refresh you can see that this is my input field and this is a button let me just change the spelling mistake there is a spelling mistake unsplash so unsplash so now we just need to uh, get the value which the user types in this input field for this i will be binding a on change event handler on change so when the value changes this function will fire which is handle change and also a button on click i will bind here when the button clicks we will be handling it by handle submit so now we will create these two functions right here at the top here so function handle change this will get the event and also we will create the function handle submit this will also get the event and now in order to get the value which the user types we can easily create a first of all a state variable so for that we will be using hooks so first of all i will be creating the photos photo set photo will be the method in order to set that photo and the initial value will be null so i will be using use state so you just need to import it right here at the top it has already done that for me you can see that and now the default value is null here and the second value that I will provide guys is the client ID that you need to pass here client ID comma set client ID so this will be the method in order to set that client ID and the initial value I will provide this initial value so you just need to create a project here inside your unsplash uh, developer account and then you can you will get the access key so we just need to copy paste this access key in our application I will pass this so that's it so these are the two state variables now we just need to get the value inside the input field that the user types let's suppose this type i. so this method this method will fire and now in order to get this value i will first of all call the method of set photo inside this i will extract the value by event dot target dot value and now we can just console log this value when the button clicks so console log photo that's it 
And now if I refresh the application guys, if I copy paste the app URL and paste it inside my browser. So this, this is the app URL. You can just see it as a live here. You can see that if I inspect element, if I go to console here and if I type here anything that suppose programming, click on search. So you will see that guys, it is printing out on the console here. So we are successfully extracting the value. Now we just need to make a Axios get request. So after this, we just need to write here axios dot get and for the URL, we will be passing, making a simple URL variable right here at the top here, const URL. And for the URL guys, we are using this URL that is API dot unsplash dot com slash search slash photos. And we are passing the page number and the query parameter and the client ID. So let me just copy this and paste it here. And uh, let me just bind this client ID, which I already have client ID. And I will replace my query with dynamic query, which I have the variable here. Let's suppose this is a variable of photo. So I will bind this query plus photo plus in the double quotes, I will be concatenating them. You can see that this is a full URL https api.unsplash.com slash search slash photos question mark page is equal to one and query is equal to the actual value that is passed that is photo and client id is the actual client id that we have set here that's it now this is our url put a sem semicolon and now we just need to make a get request so we will pass this url to this axios method inside this url and uh, this returns a promise so we just need to handle by dot then Inside this, the response will be returned inside this response variable. This is an arrow function. You can just console log the response in order to check if the response is coming or not. Control save. And now if I go back to the application, if I type here something, let's suppose JavaScript and click on search, hopefully a response will be returned. You can see that guys, a response is returned inside this data. We have this on page number one, we have 10 photos. So this is the result array. So now we just want to declare one other state variable, which is results. So which will be holding our results array. So right here at the top, we need to declare another variable, which will be results. Result dot set result will be the method in order to set it. So use state. So this will be a array. So we, this will be an empty array default value that I have provided here. Now we will be calling the set result set result. And I will be passing response dot data dot results. So this is a full path of the array here. That's it. Now we just need to go back to the HTML wherever we are rendering it. Now we just need to make a double curly brackets inside this. I will be passing our result variable dot map. I will be using the map function in order to print out every element inside the array. Inside it, I will be taking the index variable as photo. This will be an arrow function. So now inside this, I will be having a simple image tag source will be equal to photo dot URLs dot small. This is a full URL to the photographs. Let me just show you how I am getting to this. So inside this results array, there is a URLs property URLs object inside this, there is a small property. So we are fetching it by res results dot URLs dot small. So this is a full path of the image. Now we just need to close it. That's it application guys you will see that if i type here anything here in the javascript i will be fetching the photographs if i click search so you will see that guys javascript photographs have been fetched here and similarly this application is responsive also if i type here flower it will fetch the flower images so you can see that so very simple application we have used the unsplash api in our react, react application so thanks very much guys for watching this video. If you like this video, then please hit the like button and also tap the notification bell icon, subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video. Until then, thank you very much.